Are we allowed to move it? I'm going to move it. Oh, you're going to move well, it? Well, I'm too short. And I'm going to move it, too. Right. Well, it's really high. Matt Scarpino's going to kill us. Oh, he's But like, he loves those are, us. Those are spiked down. What's up, everybody? Welcome wait, to the game. Wait, wait. This is not, no, this is something, uh, this is not right. Something, What's wrong? We got Bertillo. Change. No, we got that. We got Tim, we got Colin, we got Greg. Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah. He's got his coat. I know what it is. Oh. Uh. That's Pappy Van Winkle you just spilled on the table. N Nick, we had a problem with the table. <laughs> this, this is why we use coasters, guys. Sorry. When the bar has time, I need a towel. It's fine, Sean Peter. Pitts, it's fine. Don't worry. Get all over it. About your table. All right, so now we can go? I, oh, you guys feel good? Yeah, we're good. We're all good. right, let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show live and kind of funny live! I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Hi, Greg. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. What did you spill? Motor oil here? No, I, what is this? That's what he spilled was 15, Don't say 15 it. year Pappy Van Winkle is what he spilled on the. <laughs> Go ahead and boo me. I put my fa- No, don't really do it! <laughs> put my fancy drink in the presentation of Superman head with the fancy bourbon. Thank you, Eric Castro, I'm sorry. Over here, the pride of Long Island, Colin Moriarty. Good to be here with you, thank you. And of course, rounding off the group, the pure one, Tim Geddes. Let's him host. Jeez, I think the problem is this is actually cleaning the table. We've never done that before. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the table didn't start out black. <laughs> So, Greg, oh, there, there's a new member kind of, of Kind of Funny that I'd like to introduce to you guys right now. What? Okay. His name is Sir Nathaniel Drake, and he is my brand new... Yeah! Vita! 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 <laughs> oh, that's scary. You're welcome, Shuhei. <laughs> everyone tweet, everyone tweet Shuhei at EOSP right now and tell him we won. Tim Gotti, Tim Gotti's? Is that your name? Tim Goddess. Tim Goddess. They call me. <laughs> you got to pee already? Classic Nick. Classic Nick Scarpino. Oh my God. We want to run this show any differently. Uh, thank you all for coming. Are you having a good time so far? Is it a little? Is it a little bit above where you thought it would be? Good. You oh, you wanted some of the bourbon? What? No, I just wanted some of the bourbon. Why? You never drink on this show. Well, it's a special occasion. <laughs> because this is like 90-year-old Pappy Van or Van Winkle. Now, this is what Eagle is Rare. <laughs> just is Eagle Rip Van Torn. I'm just saying. From, uh, I'm not throwing days. Eagle Rare into the bus. I'm just saying. Uh, so, for the record, if we ever want Nick Scarpino to drink, all we have to do is throw an event with 400 crazy best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Oh, you're free next weekend. That's Sean this Pitts. Is not happening again. It's next nice weekend. to meet you too, <laughs> Sean Pitts. <laughs> Sean Turns out Sean Pitts like Drew Barrymore in that 28 First Dates movie. <laughs> not the real title of it, I don't think. No, but it doesn't. No, matter. no, I think no. It was 50 First Dates. It's 50. Yeah, you're right. That's a lot of. First we we dates. should make a prequel though. 28 Here, First Dates. Here's my question for you, Tim. Yeah. Would you put up with that? No. Even if you were you're in love with this woman, she forgets everything, and you got to remind her every fucking day with a VHS tape. I mean, you know, I would give it a try. We'll see how long I'd last. I don't know. You're you right, would. yeah. I'd show, show some YouTube videos. It's not that VHS that's true. bullshit. That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just, you know, that's how Adam Sandler did it back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll try it. Well, thank you all for coming, of course. This is crazy. We're happy to have you. Andrea Renee, everybody. Yeah. Hey. Nice cat sweater. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here. Uh, it's crazy exciting for us, obviously. We started this journey on our own four months ago. It's insane that now we have 400 of you here. The crazy, I think, crazier thing is that when we think about this, talk about this, and especially for you out there, I want you to understand. This is something I didn't, I took for granted. I always talk about this. In the first time we did ever a live podcast, when we did episode 200 for Beyond, right? I took it for granted. It all went so fast. I didn't think about it, right? And then afterwards, I was like, oh, I should have savored those moments. I want you all to savor this because this is something incredibly special. It's thank you. I felt that. It, I felt it. Not only is it, I mean, is it incredibly special that we're all here, but it's like. It's literally you're on the ground floor, right? Like, it'll never be this way again. Next time we do one, everyone's going to hear about how cool this was and want to come, and it'll be big, bigger and want to get a bigger space. Hopefully like, everyone hears about yeah, how hopefully. cool it is. Well, Tell your friends. You're tweeting, right, with the hashtag, why is there a walrus? No. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag kind of funny live. 
They're all being put up there. We're happy to have you. Uh, we feel like this is our chance to talk to all of you. Because, you know, when we, go to the, when we go to the PAX, when we go to any other things, we do all the different stuff. We, of course, like the shows to be about you, not just be us, you know, doing our normal thing. So Alfredo Diaz is in the crowd. I believe we're going to have him line up. If you want to start, if you want to start lining up check, along check, this check. side. I want to keep you on the side, Fredo, maybe. Line yeah, up right. along the side, put right? Put baby in the corner. Then we can get questions in yeah, there. Yeah, that's fun. Sean Pitts is ready. Sean Pitts was born <laughs> for this. It's, Craig, Sean Pitts it's all over that shit. It's really crazy because I assumed that when we had this many people coming, I was, it was going to be a lot of best friends that, you know, were remote friends. But I see so many familiar faces out there oh, from yeah. Twitter and from just commenting, guys. And it's, well, it's lot, awesome. It's so cool to see you guys. A lot of you people, you, you doll up your Twitter photo. You take a photo of just your mouth and your nose. I hate that shit. That's dolling up a Twitter Who photo does to you. That? I, I, this Nobody one does guy, that. I'll show you next time he tweets at me. <laughs> Shout Makes out to, mouth to guy. Get you. Not like Irrational Passions over here. I know his face. What up? What's up? What's up, Joanna? How you doing? Good seeing you. I'll allow it. All right. God damn, those shirts look good. We oh, the shirts over there at the merch booth? No, all of them. Oh. Oh, yes. Don't forget to hit up the merch booth. All that stuff's exclusive, I think, for the moment. We have yes, uh, we are not selling that again. Okay. Ever. It is for this moment. Well, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. And also, shout out to all of my, my middle school friends over there selling all of our shirts. Also, if you don't know, we are serving food back there by the neon signs. If you guys are hungry later, it'll be served all night. Also get boozed up. That, they're already doing that, so that's good. Excellent. How are the old fashions? Andrew Renee's been there for like 45 minutes. Yeah? All right, good, 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 good. good. Fine. You want some of this? Get an empty glass, I guess, Andrew. Yeah, come up here and get some. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, I said get an empty glass. Okay, good. Colin, did you have something to do? Yeah, I, I have something to say first before we get into this. There's one person in, in particular I want to I wanna come up here. I don't know if he's here or not. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's here. Is there someone named... Oh, thank you. Here, Greg, you can take care of this. Got it. Is there someone named Dustin here who's friends with my friends from Long Island, Tracy and Landon? Is there... Is there that's you? Come here. Come up. Dustin! Dustin! Bam, bam, bam! Bam, bam, bam! Cheers. 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 Woo. Hi. I'm Colin. Me Hi. familia. So <laughs> I want you to sit here for a minute. I'm going to go get something, okay? Okay. So now you... How you doing? Good. Good. No, get Good. on the mic. Get on the mic. Come on. I'm Grab it. Don't my, be afraid of it. My brother will be pissed off if you don't get all up on the mic. So now, what is this? You know Colin's friends? Yes. I ran... There you go. So, so I added a friend on Facebook. She goes, how do you know Colin? <laughs> Super nervous, guys. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. There's you only 300 people listening to you talk no, right no now. No one told me. No one Give your best friends some love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So she goes, how do you know Colin? I go, he's internet famous. Tim. Hey. Hey. Superstars. We did it. Internet yeah. superstars. Yes. <laughs> 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 I've made it, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted that moment my whole life. By the life. way, side note, Tim has already said I've made it 15 times tonight. Yeah! When he saw, when the girl licked her teeth in the song, you guys all laughed at that. He's like, yes, we made it. <laughs> Sorry. <So>. Continue, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this goes, man. It just goes exactly, off the rails exactly. fast. So she goes, how do you know Colin? I go, internet famous. She goes, why? Well, I went to high school with his girlfriend, all this fun stuff. Uh... I don't know what to say. That's it. That's good enough. Here you are. That's great. Yeah. I, so, Colin. So, I, I want to point out, she text messaged me and my girlfriend once, because me and my girlfriend went to high school together. His and girlfriend. Went, his girlfriend. Girlfriend. And we went to high school with Tracy. She said you were a big fan. So, I want to let you pick out one of these things here. You have to pay for them. Uh, we have like, all sorts of posters, panda posters. I was going to say, what we have back here yeah, is a number of posters, all... From the one and only Pandemus. Pandemus could not be here. He sends Andrew his Stein. regards. Of course, the posters over there are from him. They've all looks like sold out except for the one campaign one. But we have other campaign stuff here. We have the Naughty Dog photo he did, or the painting he did of all the characters around the poker table. Pandemus is an amazing individual. Everyone should tweet at him, too. And we're now going to do it that people in line get to pick something out of the thing until we're out of things. Oh, you lucky. But we didn't bring a lot of things. <laughs> Now is this? It, Thank now. you for. Oh! Oh! Shots fired. Who Shots talks fired. shit? Someone must be talking shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how Tim wanted to get rid of it. Greg, come back. It's just a balloon. It was just a balloon. He's such a daffodil. <laughs> come, Nick, you'll understand one day when you're a father. <laughs> that's a scary day. 
Mr. Sean Pitts. Pitts. It's fine. The Pitts. Ha, real quick, by a round of applause, I want you to applaud right now if Sean Pitts has hooked you up at some point in this trip. <laughs> what a fucking guy. He's a super fan. I'm calling you now. Sean, the is Superman. Your, Sean, Sean, is your girlfriend here? She's 19. So everybody, whatever happens, happens. He's done. He's, no! He's, no! He's San Francisco. It's really hard for all of you. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. There is a strip you club right across the, the street. We'll be going deal. there afterward. Give him a mic. Yeah, tweet in, talk into the microphone. You never tweet Wing Wings Girl. That's a bad idea. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He you tweeted a photo of the Wing Wings Girl and got in trouble? Well, I had to explain myself. Oh, nice. Okay, That's a good. weird thing. That's a good story. I'll tell you guys that later. <laughs> um, you can tell us all right now. No, no. But, no, guys. I have a question, too. Should we bring them up here? Yeah, you can, yeah let's get them Here's up here, Here's what I actually. want. Here's what I want. Let me know. I'm, I'm directing on the fly. Alfredo, come up the Stop, stairs. Baby and Sean Pitts, you follow him. And then, ladies and gentlemen, when you come up to have your question read, you, you'll, you'll talk to us here. So you'd come up after Sean go. goes off, and you exit <laughs> down those stairs. And everybody has a lot, of fun. a lot of them. They're all, all backlit right. blue. I'm sorry. Now continue with this story of infidelity from Wing Wings. No. Oh my god. My girlfriend watches the show. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> I was just. We came in with 18 people, and no one fucking told this poor woman. So she's in. She's like, I don't know anything about the 10% off. I don't know who you people are. I don't know what Greg Miller is. I had she knew what I was. You saw, after, somebody showed her a after picture. After I pulled up a picture, she was like, Oh. That guy. That yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was terrifying. Anyway, I was just like, hey, you know, I, you have a Twitter. And she's like, yeah, I do this thing on Twitter. I was like, I bet I could get your picture in front of 200,000 people. And then you retweeted it. And she was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. So, and I maybe hope you stopped the this. story there. And whatever yeah. happened, happened. We're all best friends. No, we don't say Nothing anything. happened. And then there was some heavy petting. It's fine. Nothing happened. That didn't <laughs> Jesus Baby, none Christ. of this happened. I We're joking home. around, babe. We love you. Yeah, it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. Nick, it's you're fine. so good looking. Sean, thank you. You got great hair. After the show, oh my we'll God. go we get, get some hookers. We fucked up. We got to get Troy to get do his. And booger sugar. Troy Baker, whenever booger you can sugar. come back to the stage, come do your walking. But still, get to your... Get, well, yeah, anyway. I don't um, mean to derail the show with wing-wing stories. Sorry. Yeah, I know yeah. you guys love a topical, on-point podcast. That never goes into the weeds. <laughs> so I really wanted to talk to you guys and ask you, like, what has this week been like for you? I know Nick was specifically about to kill himself. Uh, so or, or Kevin. Or <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> and uh, No, no, it is Kevin's fault. It is always it's, Kevin's fault. It's, Kevin, it's I, believe not your fault the, I believe you're in the green room. Kevin's it's up in the green room fault, right now. Kevin. It's not your it's fault, It's not buddy. your fault. No, Kevin, Kevin does a great job. He, he holds this group up on his shoulders. And I want to crush him every time he says anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> so what has this week been like? So what has this and week been like? Yeah, how is I, this moment right now? I think r right now, for real, I would love a round of applause for Nick and Tim. <laughs> when, we, when we were going through the Patreon, when we put the milestone on there that we'll do a live event, Colin and I were just like, we'll do the podcast. We'll get a place and we'll get a table and we'll talk into the microphones. It'll be great. We've done that a million times or whatever. And they were like, well, yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit more. And it became that whole thing you just saw. It became all of this. It became the craziness you're about to still go through. You're not even, you're almost oh, yeah, this halfway through this night. Like, <laughs> they took it to a place that I'll never be able to repay them for. Like, this has been, when I came in, of course, I got choked up. When I watched the mm -hmm. videos Tim made, I got choked up. Like, it's still so surreal to see all of you in shirts that Nick made at our coffee table <laughs> and have him all say kind of funny when I remember when Tim was walking back to the car that one time with Nick and Nick's like listen Tim I'm not gonna call it kind of funny it's over <laughs> yeah, I, I won you, you always win and you win every argument what's that mm. that wasn't smoking anything my mother's in here no somewhere. that was before <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was long before. Shout out to um, Nick's mom. Nick is a great guy. He's quit smoking. Wow. It was back um, in the day when he was still smoking. I was. When he was cool. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. So originally we were like, we're going to fill a live event because like everything we put on, on that Patreon tier, we're like, it's, we're never going to hit that. So, <laughs> and then we hit it like in two days and we're like, well shit, now we got to throw a live event. Um, 
and we started with the idea of the podcast. We're like, we're going to do, of course, the Game Over Greggy Show, which is our, which our core podcast. And then it started to go like, well, wouldn't it be cool if we did the presidential debate there? And like, eh, let's add a little layer to that. And then that became so complex. that, But everything we did wasn't a... It came from a place of, you know, you, like thinking about you guys and how you might react to something. So when Tim put that intro together for us and for everyone, he was like, do you think people are going to like it? And I was like, people are going to shit their fucking pants when this happens. And it's super fun, and that becomes addictive. So, of course, this is only half of it. We've got a little bit more of a show for you after this. Well, roughly half, I guess. Um, but it's been hell, to answer your question. <laughs> you were like, up till 4 a.m., right, every day I mean, that's my thing. Like, I don't think that I've slept before 4 a.m. for the past, like, two weeks. But it's one of those things where it's like I – it was never so much stress as much as it was excitement. Yeah. Like, every single time I was like, fuck, I'm so tired and so stressed. I was also like, I'm so amped. I want to do that next thing. I want to yeah. keep going. And last night was the first night I didn't have to do anything for the show, and I still couldn't sleep. I was just laying yeah. in bed. Oh, I'm like, no. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, Thank I, you guys so much for coming out and making yeah. this worth it. Congrats. I laid up. I'm gonna say it again. This is all I've ever wanted. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was up. I was up till three o'clock in the morning last night watching Tank Girl on Netflix. I was like, I gotta watch something stupid to fall asleep, and I watched the whole fucking movie. Um, no, but it's worth it, and it's worth it to see everyone, and it's good to see everyone, and it's great to. Um, you don't get feedback like this, and sometimes you forget when you're in a little room in, in Colin and Greg's spare bedroom that people actually watch this and actually give a shit. When you're in a little spare bedroom impaling a wall with a poster tube. There was, they didn't go through the wall. It went toward I Kevin, really and Kevin deflected like a ninja. <laughs> so good. So, Sean Pitts, thank you. Thank of you, Sean Pitts. Thank you, Sean. Super fan. Come grab I'm calling you the you Superman want, from now on, Sean Pitts. What, what's Sean Pitts? Sean Pitts. In the tubes, there's one unrolled one. It's a Batman. It's a piece of Batman art and artist uh, a Game Over Greg show kind of funny fan sent in. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Greg. Yeah. Can we call Sean Pitts? Superman. Sure. Superman. Superman. I know. I think Sean Pitts is a little too scary for Superman. Sean, Sean tweeted at me the other day. He was like, he was like, hey, Alfredo, I'm not a stalker or anything, but is this your cousin? He had a picture of my cousin. I'm going to ask you a cousin. Was he, was he physically with her at the time? Because you should ask her if she's still a virgin. She just happened to find my cousin in San Francisco. Uh, Sounds like the Wing Wing girl isn't a threat, but Alfredo's yeah, cousin is. Tough. Plot twist, it was a dude. Oh, wow. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. We're we in all San agree to keep our mouths shut. <laughs> Whatever, man. Love. All right, next question. The party All right, love. so next question. Where are you from? What's your name? All right, my name is David Solari. I go by David Celery. I'm from here, San Bruno, nearby. Woo! Um, isn't it awesome that we're here? Can you guys believe it? It's crazy! Now, quick shout out, Alfredo, Tim. I saw you guys at the premiere of Furious 7. Just want to say what's oh, up yeah. again. Hey, Remember? it's about up, family, guys? man. <laughs> I told you I'd see you again, I'm here. Nick, Greg, Colin, I think about meeting cool. you guys every day. So, Aww. here it is. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, so I'm going to ask probably the most controversial topic on the show that's ever happened. Oh. So, gentlemen, I need you to prepare yourself. Will you sign my PS4 face faceplate? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a marker? Ah, oh, good. I do want good. you to know I once asked if they would have sex with a goat. <laughs> yeah. I think this beats that. And the answer Thankfully, was my wife doesn't watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> he's in the, he's, he's still he's in the closet yeah, somewhere in our, in our closet, house. I think. Yeah. The spare bedroom. Don't ask, don't tell. Where I, I think it was you want to put in that closet, you want to keep this little section cord enough for what was your dreams and your pride? It's my pride and my ego. Pride and your ego. Yeah. Because I don't want to see anything. What, you were going on, you were fucking out of control. If anybody's not, if, I know a lot of you were traveling. On Colin and Greg Live Thursday... Nick melted the fuck down. Where he came in, they were, they were packing up stuff for this show. He hasn't slept in forever. God probably just wants a cigarette worse than anything in the whole wide world. And he comes in and moves stuff around. And literally the chairs that have been there piled up when we're not using them, they're piled off to the side. And we've kept them there the entire four months. He moves and it jostled out the power cord and took out the entire live operation. Now, I knew I made a mistake, though, because when Nick did that, I, I, didn't, I didn't judge the situation properly. Because what I said was, when I, when I went down, I was like, come on, guys. Yeah. And so, I knew that that, that was... Probably it was the straw that broke the yeah, camel's yeah. back. It, whenever something goes critically wrong, that's Colin's reaction during Colin and Greg Live. Come on, guys. I and mean, it's like, as soon as he did that, I was like, oh, fuck. Nick and Colin are going to fight now. No. <laughs> but, 
Nick went so nuclear that Colin was just backed down. He was like, no, all no. the anger got. It was like one of those things where the it all sucks in and then explodes. I, out. I almost he, want. He sucked the anger out of us and then blew it all over the I wall. I almost wanted. To be, it was like, come on, guys, and I almost wanted to be like, sorry, 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 sorry. Like, almost, I mean, it, but but he he took. It was amazing. One of these one tubes, of these poster tubes and launched it like a javelin. I've never seen. He could be in the Olympics. Like it was incredible. Kevin like. Dodging and it just almost went through the, the wall basically above the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. So in typical awesome. us fashion, every single thing we own that's electrical that gets that show up and running is plugged into one outlet that is sitting between a stack of chairs that weren't stacked correctly and a trash can. We don't even need a fucking trash can in that room, but we got a trash can in the room. Greg and never empties it. Either. I love how I, it was fucking empty, so clearly I do empty it. You don't put anything in it because we <laughs> yeah, don't I do, do anything anymore. One we time, took over your desk. I know, <laughs> you've taken over that whole room, and I yeah. like how you're like, no one uses the trash can. I use it all the time to clean anyway, up the trash yeah. in the room. Yeah, it was, it was a meltdown, the guys. And what didn't help, though, was when I started getting angry, I was like, Nick, just calm down. You're being irrational. We'll get the show up. I looked over, and you guys weren't terrified. You were laughing at me. <laughs> and I looked at that, was all live. That's what made they me all piss. Saw this because, if I, because if I, wasn't gonna, I was going <laughs> to cry if I didn't laugh. Dude, you started laughing. And, and to be clear, the posters have been the bane of my existence for the last five weeks because every time I touch them, they crumble like a house of cards because they're literally cylindrical. They've literally been underneath the desk for five weeks. They haven't done anything. Well, they came at me the wrong way, Greg. <laughs> then you're like, and these, and you started picking random prizes off the table, threatening to throw and them you're like, away. No one's going to want this. Get rid of Who this wants shit? to play Project Cars? <laughs> no one. <laughs> it's like, I think a lot of people wanted to play that game. It, but was, it, was, so, it was so much like when your parents used to get mad at you for not picking up your toys. Like, well, I'm just going to throw this away. Like, they step on it and they it's hurt like, their no, foot. Mom, no, no. By the way, did you take a did you take a prize? Oh, oh, take a prize, yeah. Go for a prize. Thank you for coming up. Take so one of the cylindrical things to get it out yeah, of my take life. Take one of the take one of the cylinders before Nick kills himself. If he throws it back there, he'll kill someone. Steve. Steve. Is that how? Steve. It, is that how it That's goes? Steve, everyone. Steve. Steve. Why so, does everyone say now that we know Steve like Steve, Steve Wilkos? Because Steve's been around forever. <laughs> he's I know, he's part of the group. He's part of the core group. Steve, 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 All right, Steve, now this Steve. really is like the Steve Wilco show. <laughs> so, Steve, what's your question? This is surreal, but um, my question is, you guys said that we're getting it in on the ground floor, and I happen to agree with you guys. I think Kind of Funny is going to grow to be like a really big, like, I guess, show or like organization. <laughs> at, least I, <laughs> at least I hope, but... What, where do you guys see yourselves in like one, two, five years? You guys see yourself being like this big company that's like competing with like IGN or just like doing your own thing or like do you still think you're going to be doing like YouTube or is it going to be all Twitch in five years? Like, oh, wow. What, what, what do you guys think you're going to be doing? I, I mean, the hope would be we keep evolving, right? I don't think it's we're able to... I, I think it'll still be YouTube, it'll still be Twitch, it'll still be everything. It'll be whatever the platform are or wherever, however we can communicate with you guys, right? And whatever products we can make for those platforms. You know what I mean? That's something that's important to us is having Colin and Greg live feel different than the Game Over Greggy show or a Let's Play or whatever. And mm -hmm. then having the streams feel different than Let's Plays too. Uh, I always talk about, you know, everything's happened way quicker than it was supposed to. You know what I mean? I was talking about in the summer, we were sitting around Pedro's Cantina downtown outside IGN being like, when can we quit? What is the number? <laughs> and we went around and we're like, ooh, maybe a year, year and a half. And then Patreon happened, and we quit six months it later. It really did accelerate. I mean, yeah. I've, I've told the story about I was in Japan uh, when we launched our first Patreon, and I was like, holy shit. Uh, this is way bigger and more important to people than I thought it was, and it accelerated that entire timeline for us. So as we told you many times in the past, we quit three months before we actually left so we can prepare you know, IGN for not having us anymore since there's a lot of kind of systemic knowledge amongst us and then you know, do our own thing. But I think I've said it before. I want us to have the wisdom in you know, five years, for instance, to understand that maybe it's not always necessarily going to be about us, but more about what you guys want. Um, and I know that, you know, a lot of you guys are, you know, attached to these shows and attached to us as personalities and stuff, and we're honored by that. We'll always be around to do those kinds of things, but I'm, like, really focused in the next few years to find the next thing, to start getting people on board that can do shows for us that we can't do. And, um, you know, we're getting old. So, like, you know... Super old. Uh, for, for Look our, at Nick. Nick's really old. <laughs> I can't see anymore. Based on how old you are, your mom's like, what, a thousand? Wow. Damn, that's Because you're really shit. old. Get but shot. that's insulting to, that's it's insulting not insulting to his mom at all. I'm making fun of how old Nick is. Yeah, but if Nick's a thousand. No, she's going to she, come Nick, at you. Fucked, uh, she she likes to come, to come out, out of the darkness, man. 
She's Greg, like, you he's fucked a great up. looking man. You fucked up. Thank you. I didn't fuck up. Thank you, you fucked up. But anyway, yeah, I just want to have. I, I want to make sure that we don't Love get. You, Mom. I, I want to make sure we don't get you know inv too involved in the things that are easier, the things that we do now, but rather evolve the product to your guys' specifications. Yeah. And as you're going to see later on, we're we're always listening to you guys and making changes based on that. So. Um, you know, keep the feedback coming, and, and we're going to work with that stuff. I think that's what make, makes kind of funny unique, frankly, is that we listen to you guys. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. And uh, so, keep, so keep the feedback coming, and I hope you guys like it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Cool. Come select a, a prize of your choosing. Come grab a Please. prize. Steve! Steve! Seriously, do you guys watch Steve Wilkos? Because I'm just asking a question that's like... All right, I'm just... He doesn't have the copyright on Steve. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I watched Springer for a long time. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy your Panda Musk poster. Right, yes, sir. I love your shirt. Get What's off your phone. name and where are you from? Ryan Sabino from uh, Fairfield Sacktown. And your question? Sacktown! Yeah. Man, I, I need to do this at least once. Beyond? Beyond! Whew. I don't think we I'm can already. say that anymore. That's good. Um, so, you guys talk about a lot about films. You know, talk yeah, talk yeah. all the time. Movies, family. Yeah, familiar. We talk about how 80s are probably one of the best eras for movies. 100%. Ghostbusters. Definitely. But the 20 teens, they're coming strong. And we got Star Wars and then we got Avengers. Are we gonna, is it gonna overtake the 80s? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. There's too much. <laughs> There's too much now. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we talk about this at all, a lot, and it wasn't because I was just a kid uh, before you guys were all born. Um, in, of the a 80s. thousand years ago, that, apparently. A thousand years ago. No, it was just because the 80s were a simpler time where you had to use a lot of imagination to bring your, uh, your vision to life, right? And that's where you get Steven Spielberg and George Lucas and guys like that that really created and had to be smart about it. Um, now you can make anything with a laptop computer look like anything, and yeah. it's, it takes a little bit of the magic out of it. It was fresh and new this, back then, Yeah, this too. set's not even real. You I was going to say, did this. you guys ever know that we filmed every episode of the Game Over Greggy show here in Broadway studio? Like, <laughs> bizarre. Yeah, no, but I, I don't think we'll ever have that again, similar to how we'll never have, you know, music from the 70s and 60s ever again. It's just, you know, everything's different. But the older you get, the stupider everything gets. Yeah. <laughs> so That's kind of true, yeah. One, oh, one old guy's like, yep. Fuck yeah. I would agree with him. <laughs> one really <laughs> old guy. <laughs> you get something, yeah. One more thing. Could I have you take a picture of me like I was in the background of Kind of Funny at one time? Is that... If you're like kind of like creeping in there, like. No. No, that's. And the reason being is because uh... at the end of tonight, before we go out to the four corners of the room to hang out, every human being and that motherfucker that wants to walk up here and get a photo is getting a photo. Yeah! We'll get you. We'll get you. Thank you. Oh, yeah! Thank you. Hello. Hold on, hold on. This table. Yeah. Oh. The whole thing threw me off the game. I didn't even do that whole part. These are fabulous. You want to do it now? Sure. Hold on. If you didn't know, the Game Over Greggy show comes to you each and every week. It's four, sometimes five best friends gathering around this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, patreon.com slash kindoffunny to get it early. If you don't want to give us any money, fuck you. <laughs> but you can no, get it at youtube.com you. slash kindoffunny. I'm you. joking around. I've been nipping at daddy's juice doing whatever I want, all right? You've been nipping at daddy's juice? <laughs> nipping at daddy's juice! My dad doesn't have any juice. I'll find out later tonight. Don't touch my dad. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's a sweet old man. <laughs> 65. All right, here we go. Name, question. Neil, living. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. We but, uh, all know Neil Gabriel. Before I start, Goonies never say die, Nick. Never. Hey, fuck yeah. Goonies never say die. Exactly. And they should have kept so They should have got I, that ship afterward, by the way. Before I say my little piece, first of all, Tim, Elsa, Anna, and Rapunzel, Mary Boff Kill. Think about Ma it. Mary Rapunzel. Damn, this sucks. I told, right? Um, <laughs> you got a buff, Elsa. I've been trying to figure out it. It's impossible. Elsa, dude, here's the thing Elsa is hotter, but. You gotta go with Anna because I'll kill Elsa just because honestly Anna will be more fun, I'm sure. Right, there you go. Good answer. I just say it's impossible. But anyways, so my actual thing is like, we all know like the things about you, like Nick, cigarettes, like that's a stress, <laughs> that's stressing for you. <laughs> Nick, Greg, cigarettes. My mom is in the audience, everybody. Greg, been following you on, on for forever. Got super emotional on your cancer videos, yeah. like big thing. 
Colin, I almost wore that shirt. Also, Dredge Concerts and also your stress. Cool, like, yeah, yeah, we went to a Dredge Concert stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Thank you. And, and you Tim, gave me a ride home you after that. Thank you. All your Disney stuff, your stuff with your family. With him, with like, him? we no, learn all this stuff about you guys. And, like, I will be the first one to say that, like, whenever I see a comment that says, like, oh, they're being fake, Greg's not legit, I just start to get rage inside because I'm like, you guys are legit. And I know that, like, all of you would like to know, like, something about everybody. So, like, what was, what's one thing you'd want to ask or know about all of your family in this room? That's a damn good question. You want to take it, Nick? It's the age-old question, really. It's pizza or burritos? Pizza. Split. Split. That was good. I would Great. have to go with the Disney princess one. Come on. Disney princesses? Which Disney princess? Good, good. You want me to go or you? You can go. How many? <laughs> That's kinky. How many people want to be on the right side of history and admit that Uncharted 3 is a perfect 10? USA! 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 <laughs> Greg, you can't just start a chant for the sake of starting a I chant. I just did! You can't do that. <laughs> On that note, the question I want to ask is why you even care about this show at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's such a train wreck. Thank you. Okay, I get a fight. A, tr a, a garbage Thank truck you. rolling down the hill slowly on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Matt Scarpino, God. wave to the crowd. That's Nick's brother, Matt Scarpino. He's the brains of this operation in the back, making it all happen. He's an amazing human being. There's a handshake for him, too. He you built can. this set. He built, he this, built this set. Based only on YouTube videos. I don't know how he was able to replicate it. It's almost as if it's not that great of a set. <laughs> that a human being could just see a postage stamp image of it and nail it. <laughs> Shout out to Alexis for the, the fake walls. Yeah. Th yeah, that's a funny story, actually. Is Alexis here? She should be. Alexis, are you here? Oh. oh. She, she's, having she's, some issues. she's having some issues, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, the whole shit. reason we have the game over, Greg, you said, is because we did that Victoria's Secret live stream. <laughs> and Alexis was like, hey, I'll bring in some fake walls and flats. And we're like, okay. Yep. And then we had him. You want to talk about a rage moment? Yeah, when Colin came in and saw his, his uh, living room had been turned into a Hollywood studio, he did not take it well. <laughs> What's happening with Alfredo? Dude, these shades are hot. <laughs> oh, a little bit of laven. Uh, so, Jenner with the awesome shades. Name, question, where are you from? Uh, my name is Steven. I'm from Las Vegas. Hello. Las Vegas! Uh, so, my question is just simple. It's just pick one cast member and tell the story of how you first met them. That's a good one. I, yeah. I can go first. Okay. I met Tim because he basically forced his way into IGN in, in a great way, in a very charming way, but he was very persistent. And then I'll never forget this. I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. The day he was in, uh, ending his internship, he left all of us hand-signed notes with little moments from like that, that what we had quote-unquote done to touch him. Before you say anything, it wasn't a physical touch. It was an emotional touch. And I was like, ah, this kid's going to be around forever. And he is. Yeah. yeah. Uh my moment, I'm, I'm going to talk about Colin Moriarty. The, the first time I ever spoke to him, I was an intern at IGN, and I had to record some footage of some really shitty PS3 game. I don't remember what it was. I don't know, it was a lot of them. Uncharted um, 3? Then, then I was just like, it was not where. I, it was just like some random, I think it was like Green, Green Lantern, the like Oh, Rise of the Martian and Rise of yeah, the Man I, like, I remember, I remember it. Colin was in charge of the like game library, so I had to go ask him for like the key and stuff, and he was not having. He's like, "Don't talk to me right now." And I was just like, <laughs> "Really? I need, I need to get." Yeah, you were I don't so know not. Why does that surprise you? All right. <laughs> and then I was like, "This is Colin Moriarty," and so here he is. Yeah, there he is. I love him. <laughs> Five years later. <laughs> Sorry about that. It happens. I was miserable more often than not. <laughs> not uh, anymore. I I don't remember when I first met Nick Scarpino. But the first, like, because you meet everybody in your first day of work, you mingle around, but it's not until you go on trips with people where you really get to the heart and soul of who they are. And I remember Nick and I went on this, I, it, was, uh, it was a THQ showcase trip in Vegas, I believe. You remember this one? Right? The one Vegas. In, uh, yeah, it was at the, uh, 
Doesn't keep going, matter. Keep going. Doesn't Thank matter. you. I was going to say. Uh, and, a, and, a, <laughs> and, and a young woman we all know and love named Amy Doe came along. And oh, she was filming yeah. stuff for IGN Insider. Yeah. And I remember this was the first time I saw you like out in the wild and how you'd act. And you were saying the most offensive things to Amy <laughs> to just get a rise out of her. And I could tell because, again, we're in Vegas. So you're walking around smoking. Don't worry, Mom. It was a long time ago. Walk, you were walking around smoking. You had your big drink, and you're just being horrible. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn!" And eventually, like, she walked away. And you're like, "I'm just fucking with her." And yeah. I was like, "I know," but it's like, "Damn." We uh, we had a good relationship. No, Amy Amy's and I. Great. And then she quit about a month later. <laughs> don't know why. I think it was personal issues. Don't know. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Colin, what about you? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, we've told the story I think once or twice about how Greg and I met, but I love it so much because it really says everything it was Jul I remember the day it was July 13th 2007 that was the day now I remember this I remember this because I moved here the day before my first day at IGN was July 16th 2007 me Clements and Ryan Geddes I don't know if you guys remember him all started on the same day and uh, Greg and I went to uh, a place called Edna's Ichiban Library Edna's Ichiban Edna's Library Ichiban is an library. institution it's not there anymore unfortunately uh, it's where there's a five guys there actually now which is really um, <laughs> Uh, but it, Edna's Ichiban Library was uh, a, a karaoke bar run by Filipino transvestites. And whoa, you, would whoa, go, whoa. You, would go, you would go there, and uh, the Filipino transvestites would be like your backup singers and your dancers on stage while you sang the songs. It, it was, was awesome. awesome. It, was it was fucking the best. awesome. It was like one of the great places I've ever been. And, uh, and Greg and I met there the first time and then went to Denny's. Uh, afterwards, at like three in the morning. And in the, pr the, the, you know, prologue to all of this is that literally Mark Ryan came around the corner at IGN one day and was like, oh, so Hillary, we're hiring Colin to come on and be the new guides guy. And Hillary Goldstein goes, fuck. <laughs> Colin sucks. He's such a little asshole. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, fuck, man. And so, like, that was my first impression of Colin. I was like, man, this guy, this kid's going to show up and be terrible. Because Hillary was talking about the mohawk, and his jeans were baggy, and he was an asshole. And so, yeah, I remember it was you, me, and Hillary went to that Denny's, and we were wasted. And I remember sitting there, and I just go, like, that drunk, honest moment. It's like, Hillary said you suck, but you don't suck at all. <laughs> and, and I'll never forget it. Your response was great. You're just like, well, in his defense, I did used to suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a good memory. I'll never forget that. I mean, it, that's almost as memorable as the time Greg took a shit in Mark Ryan's bushes. Which is like one of the great, and we've told that story a bunch of times. You he could not go. hold it. And I still want to know where that poor Asian boy is that was outside. There was, are you here? <laughs> it, we were Did waiting, we make a fan for life? We were waiting to get into this apartment building, Mark Ryan's apartment building, and it's just me and Greg and some like Asian kid. And Greg's like, I can't hold it anymore, and just takes a shit. <laughs> Right there. No, what it right was there, was and then like, wipes his ass with the Apache's receipt that we had that we had just. Oh, went we went bull's head. It was bull's head. Oh, bull's head. What's even better? Take care of that mess. It didn't at all. <laughs> so I feel like it would have even been better to not even do anything other than smear it around with it, because Apache receipts are only like that long and not I know. very long. And it's the glossy kind of paper. Oh, it but nonetheless, I mean, this, this story this story just reminds me like I wish there was a place like Edna's at Chibana Library still, because that place was fucking awesome. I weird. loved that, that place. Weird. What a great. What a great San Francisco institution that's now a five, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank come you. Get come select the prize, please. Matt, you were saying something to me. What, how long do we have? How much longer do we have? 35. 35 minutes left? That's fucking awesome. Okay, cool. So Thank you. 25. I'm going for 35. Okay. Stop me, Scarpino. <laughs> Alex O'Neill. Everybody should listen to your podcast, Irrational Passions. I've given you a free plug. Can you please buy me an old-fashioned? <laughs> I will give you money afterwards. <laughs> All right, thank you. It's fine. It's oh, fine. give me a bottle of water, too. Thank you. Jesus. I don't what? What? Up in the ante. Up All right, the so here we go. Hello. I'm a hugger, so come in. Come in for this one. Uh, I'm Andy from Austin, Texas. Yay! The, the other hipster city in America. Um, I want to say thank you so much for making all week so much better with you all in the lives. My question is, we know you love kind of funny, you love your family and friends. What gets you up in the morning? Why do you get up? Why do you work 12 hours a day? Why do you oh, yeah. push so damn hard to be, make our lives so much better? I'm gonna tell you why I get up in the morning. It's because Greg gets his laundry done <laughs> by this woman who just comes to the house at literally like 5.30 in the morning. I, 
rings the bell, Portillo's barking, then she just stays in our hallway and plays with Portillo for like five minutes. <laughs> That's why I get up in the morning. For the record, it happens at 7.55. <laughs> it may be Colin and Greg live when it starts so late if you got up a little bit earlier. <laughs> Collect the news. <laughs> True story, usually Colin and Greg live, I get up at like 10.30, I turn on the computer, I'm in my sweatpants, and we're a little late because usually there's just way too much news. Uh, yeah, I mean, it gets, it's too much fun not to do this, right? Like, I, this is what I live for. I live for this connection with you guys. You know what I mean? Like, period, end of state. There's those times where, like, Steimer will dra drag me to Mexico. Thank you very much. And, like, you know, it's fun for a while, but then it starts to wear on me where I'm like, fuck, I want to be producing something. Same thing when I go back to Chicago, even for, like, a three-day weekend. Like, I'm just, ha I'm the happiest when I'm talking to you, and I talk to you through the podcast we make, the Let's Plays, everything else. Like, that's what, get, you guys get me up in the morning, period. So you get Greg up in the morning, by the way. I just wanted to leave that. <laughs> obviously, like you guys and all that stuff, like I, I was born to do this, and I, this is all I've ever wanted. And again, thank you so much for helping me do that. But my, my other answer would just be like my friends. My, I, every day, like my, the relationships and all that stuff that I have are so special to me, and I'm so happy and so lucky that I have all of them. And they have helped me for so many years get to where I need to be now. And this is amazing. But thank, thank you all. Thank you all. Ditto, yeah. I mean, it literally doesn't, for the last five months, it has not felt like we were working at all. It just feels like I'm getting out to do something fun every day. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass, sometimes it's amazing. But that's Some, what Starbucks, Starbucks but, is for. That's exactly what the walk is for. Star, Star Fox. Star Fox. <laughs> so you guys, good question. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the Take question. Take something fun. Oh, I, I, I was going to say, how awesome is it going to be if he only shakes Tim's hand? <laughs> 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 only wanted your response. Thanks a lot. Where are you going? Hi, right, what's your, your question? Was, here's your name and what that question is. Uh, my name's Azario, and I'm from Fresno, California. Uh, just wanted to say I'm glad to finally meet all the people that cried with me during Greg and Colin's last uh, Beyond podcast. I know, we were all there. We all cried. Um, Probably the most depressing moment of our lives. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, when's the last time that you guys were ever offended? because you guys seem so nice and so happy, but when was the last time you can remember actually being offended? We can remember, when was the last time we were offended? offended. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> Nick has never been offended. Yeah, there's not much you can do to offend me. <laughs> Colin, I know the last time you were offended. What's that? When you were in Reykjavik. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Anti-Americanism. Yeah, someone was anti-America to you, yeah. and you were like, mm. this is gonna start World War III. Oh, that's such a good, it's such a good story because we were, we were with, uh, we told the story, but we were with uh, Dustin's friends, uh, we were with Dustin's friends, uh, Tracy and, and Landon, and, and amongst other people, and uh, that was, I was made for that moment. Yeah. 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 You took that on, and you, you made an enemy into a friend. I have to, I, well, I made an enemy into a worse enemy, but yeah. I think that the, I had to stand up for the U.S. of A., you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You gotta do it. USA! Don't run. USA! 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 <laughs> Stick it up your commie ass, Marty! <laughs> Why is Marty? Communist? Sorry, all the sweaters aren't free. <laughs> I know. I don't think that Jesus. he's a communist at all. I think he's a. <laughs> I really don't know his citizen. political leanings. I think for me, it was last time I was at Burgermeister, and I asked for a Coke, and they're like, "Is Pepsi okay?" Uh -huh. <laughs> I said yes. I ended up saying yes because that's the type of guy I am. But I was offended. I don't have a good answer. You all have really funny stuff. I don't know. Like it's you know, it's so easy to tune out the bad, pe the jerks that'll pop up on Twitter or whatever or wherever. Because I mean, like we have you guys. Do, do I offend you when I say why? Any, why does anyone like Superman? No, <laughs> you're allowed to be wrong. It's stupid. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's always. Oh shh. Shots fired. It's true. Up, it's true. <laughs> but you got to be careful. If Greg doesn't get you, his ego will. So you got to be very careful. It's, all, it's creeping around. <laughs> there it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you got anything? Uh, no, I mean, I don't get offended all that often. I get, I get, I get angry over stupid shit. I know. Um, <laughs> I get angry. I get angry a lot at Starbucks when I think something should be one way and it's not. Like oh when my, my my iced coffee is just sitting there because they have to serve drinks that in the order with which in which they were ordered. It's a weird tongue tister. Um, tongue tister. Tongue tister. <laughs> it is a weird tongue. Or when they this when they unnaturally the sweeten my iced coffee. Who the fuck? It's coffee. It doesn't come sweetened. Don't sweeten it. Just give me the coffee. That's pretty much it, though. For the most part, I'm pretty easygoing. Thanks, Shannon. Shannon Stevens, everybody. Shannon Stevens, everybody. Woo!
That's pretty much it. Excellent get question. Stuff. Get something. Now, while I listen to the next question, I'm going to be rude and take a panoramic so shot. I want to Great. remember. I'm remembering this here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. Portillo, don't jump. Thank What's you. your question? That was the cat. Name yeah. question. Your, your hair is spectacular, by the way, Alfredo. Just wanted to mention that. Um, so I work in IT. I, I have a little bit of on-screen experience, and um, I have a comically large penis. Are you guys hiring? He has a comically large penis, and he wants to know if he can have a job. Damn. We're not that kind of YouTube operation. <laughs> um, we, are, we are not hiring just yet, uh, and we're all uh, okay on the large penis area. We got that taken care of. We're good. I think I missed the question. <laughs> I gotta put it, out, gotta put it out, out there. at the wrong time. And we got that, we got that buttoned up, so to speak. People always talk to me, ask me, you know, what's like the most unexpected thing about Kind of Funny, and it was the, you've inspired me and I want to work for you. And like when people started sending us resumes unprovoked and all this different stuff, I was like, oh shit, they don't realize we're li working out of the living room. <laughs> but it's awesome and like, that's the thing, right? As I'm sure when we start to grow the way we want to grow, like for, I mean, for me at least, the next goalpost, right, is a studio. Getting like a space that's professional and we can switch and make content easier and not have the audio levels have to change every, every time day. we go to something. And then you'd be like, why is Colin and Greg fucked up? And it's like, well, we fought fucking shot four things. Yeah, the, and the last thing you need to worry about about Colin and Greg is, is the volume fucked up. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, that's touching and awesome and understanding. We remember that. You know what I mean? Like, I imagine the next kind of funny employee is in this room. Oh, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> I, Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Come, come, there's not much left here. I don't think actually there's you one thing. You the last thing. Yeah, Congratulations. You that's all that's left, so take it. All right, that's the final, the final giveaway. We're sorry. That's it. That's all there is. Also, can I just say? But there's plenty of things to buy. Yeah. These might be the best panel questions I've ever heard. Yeah. There's no one coming up here like, uh, uh, I don't have any questions. Why do people do that? Every convention, always. That's what they do. These are the best questions, so good job, guys. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, no, pressure. no pressure. No pressure at all. Name and your question. God damn it. First of all, I want to say... Uh, very due praise to these guys. These are awesome people. Thank you. These guys have been the best friends that anyone could ever ask for in a time when people needed best friends. And um, these are it. And I want <laughs> to ask much. you guys, uh, first of all, thank you for everything you've ever done. And of course, anything. Uh, stupid question, but fuck it. What is the best question that you guys feel you have ever been asked? What is the most thoughtful, deep question that you have been like? Again, great question. That you have been like, <laughs> that you have been like, whoa. This shit. might be it. A question. I'm going with this one. <laughs> a, a question, a question that you have s stopped you in your tracks and you have been like, shit, I need to think about this question. What, what question was that for you guys? Shit. I know. I definitely know. This was a topic one time on the Game Over Greggy show. But the, the most thought-provoking question I've ever been asked was in my philosophy class. And it was, this statement is false. <laughs> and it was a true or false Woo! statement. We'll never know. Is it true? Is it false? It's true that it's false. That was but a, it's that false was, if you say that it's true. Paradox. My God. That's, that was, just like time that was an awful Game Over Greggy show topic for me. <laughs> It was really bad. It was really bad. The greatest cold cuts. That was a good one. That was a great uh, topic. Uh, little known fact: the cold cuts game over Greggy show topic is, I think, the least watched game over Greggy topic <laughs> of of all time. Of all time, we've done what seventy something episodes. So times Jesus four. Christ. So three hundred and something <laughs> topics and cold cuts was the least. You know what? Fuck I everyone. Enjoyed I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. The hardest question uh, I was ever asked was, uh, how did Barack Obama get reelected? Greg, on to you. <laughs> There's one. There, it's on YouTube. I'm sorry I don't remember their name, but if you search, it's an interview someone did with me at RTX. And I'm standing. I had a little bit of time, and I think it was their first interview. And it's totally the jovial, normal, hey, blah, 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 whatever, I'm Greg. It's video games. And... Uh, Eventually they ask me, and I don't remember even the question anymore, but I start crying because they ask me something related to cancer. <sighs> That's surprising. And I, I know. And I tell the story about Tim Grant and my struggle, but 
how it was through the lens of him. And I think it was the first time I'd ever vocalized that on camera. And so that one caught me off guard and got me real choked up. Um. One fan of me crying. Yeah. Not yet. Um, Finale. Not necessarily a hard one, but people ask me this a lot, and they were like, how did you know when it, when it was time to get married? When you, you know, when was that supposed to happen? And it's not a hard question because you know you, when you know, it's just hard to put into words why you love someone so much uh, as I love my wife. So... She's up there somewhere. Thank there you. she is, yeah, Mrs. Scarpino. She's looking good tonight. What a baller fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> That's the producer. I'm trying to get laid producer. so bad. So bad I want sex. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank good you. question. I'm not going to give you, I'm sorry. Sorry, I would just like to say uh, thank you for being the best friends anyone could ever ask for. Thank when, you. When no, people need the best friends. Thank you. And you guys are awesome. And this is awesome. Thank you to all the best friends. Thank you to the very thank best you. friends. And uh, I hope you guys doing. Uh, I hope you guys keep doing this for many, many years. That's thank two. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you buddy. Shake for Tillis Mom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. He's brother. being so good. Everybody, everybody on this panel predicted he would die here, but he's he's still kicking, still feeling it. Well, for now. I even joke about that. Nice. Pl I like your plugs. I'm feeling it. Turn on the lights. Sure. He's rocking a Scarpino Getty shirt. Your shirt's terrible, but I like your plugs. Your shirt's great. I love it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Logan from Minnesota. Oh! Drove 30 hours to be here. 10,000 lakes. They have 10,000 lakes. I didn't know if you knew that, Greg. I heard like 15,000. Oh, damn. Oh. It's coming up. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so after seeing the success of the event, all these people just here to see you guys, how does that make you feel? And do you feel obligated to do more? Because you guys are doing awesome things right now, obviously, always. But I don't want you guys to feel like obligated to keep doing these, but... So, I guess my question in general is, how do you feel seeing all these fans so dedicated to you guys and all your work paying off? Because I know you felt a little sketched out in the beginning with how you didn't feel stable. Do you feel stable yet? Mm, mm, mm. Do you feel in the right place? Well, One guy place? feels woo for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can, you me, can I go? Uh, yeah. No, we don't feel stable. We never will. And that's why we're always going to keep wanting to do more and more and more and more. And we were already talking um, outside today. We were like, if this, you know, I can't wait to see everyone in here. And if it goes well, what would a thousand people look like? It's kind of funny, too. So, yeah, I mean, every single time we put something out there and you guys react to it like you like it, it makes us want to do more. And it makes us want to get up earlier and work harder yep. and not see our family more, which is unfortunate. But, Sorry. Um, yeah, you guys inspire us tremendously in a way we can't even tell you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the relationship we have is what pushes us to be better. It's like any time somebody writes in to any of us on Twitter or to the Facebook that Colin will catch or whatever, and it's like, this is fucked up, right? It's not like we blow past it. It immediately gets emailed to all of us to try to figure out what he, that person is talking about. And then sometimes, hopefully, it's your fault, but usually it's ours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll never feel you know, stable or secure because I'm the most paranoid individual you'll probably ever meet. Uh, that's, that said... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I do feel obligated to do more. I, I kind of get up every day, and it feels like a blessing that we're able to, yeah. to do this with you guys. And we have a small, intimate community that I think puts other communities on the Internet, frankly, to shame. Um, so I'm, I'm super proud of you guys. And, and, and I think one of, the, one of the hallmarks of Kind of Funny, I think, and why I, I'm excited about this event is not so much for... We're excited to see you. I'm excited if you guys are excited to see us. But I'm excited for you guys to meet each other. Um, I think that... That's like what makes this moment special for all of us, uh, is you guys kind of intermingling with one another and meeting each other. And I know we have an awesome Facebook group and a NeoGAF thing and, and Reddit and stuff like that. Um, so we're always going to feel obligated to do more because we want to please you guys. We feel really kind of in your debt. Uh, we work yes. all the time. I, I don't, I, you know, and, and, we're, and people say, like, well, take it easy. And it's like, we don't really want to. So yeah. we hope you enjoy if we, it. If we feel like if we take it easy, we'd let you down. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know... That's right. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, it's one of those things where, like, for example, me and Alfredo, we've been making videos together for a long time. And when we did, they'd be getting, they'd be getting uh, like, 100 views. And we'd be freaking out. We're like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And that meant the world to us, that there was 100 people watching. And it's like, it doesn't matter whether it's 100 or 1,000 or a million or whatever it is. Like, we want to do this regardless. But to see you guys react to it and want it, my God, there's nothing to push us harder than that. And the, the greatest thing, one of the greatest pieces of advice that everyone ever gave me was Bernie Burns, the CEO of Rooster Teeth. And he, he, was said, he was talking and he was saying that, you know, a lot of people say don't read the comments. I say read every comment twice. And I took that to heart because I'm like, every fucking comment matters. Even if it's an idiot saying something that don't matter, it's like you need to know that. And to take that and to try to fix it. To try to keep pushing and to try to like change that because for every one asshole out there, there's 10 of you guys and we need to support you guys. Come here! Come here! Come here. The Dark Knight of News, Andrew Goldfarb! I was definitely on. Hey, cool. How, how's everybody doing? Jeez, I didn't mean to crash this. I was just getting a beer, but I'm glad everyone's doing well. Uh, I, I meant to take a 20 minute nap, and I slept for like an hour and a half, so I was really late. You missed a lot of cool stuff. We started Troy early. Baker, apparently. Yeah, yeah apparently Troy Baker is here. He's here somewhere. No, he's gone now. He'll never talk to Goldfarb. Troy, right, if you well, hear me, don't talk right. to Andrew Goldfarb. <laughs> It's Portello? I, I like how I just noticed Portello was here. <laughs> what are our lives? Andrew, you're getting laid tonight. <laughs> By me. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Goldfarb. Thank you, man. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you so much. We got five minutes left. And there's a lot of people in line. That's a great shirt. So that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's with the new one. Beta. Bullshit. I like the new ones. I, I like the new stuff. Yeah, those They're are nice. nice. Are yeah. Is, is the shirt black or is it like a dark navy? It's black. Black? black. They're both black. Mm. I like it. Double shirt. Mostly because so, my name's on it. Name in question. All right, my name is Chance. I am originally hey, from Utah. Like from Homeward Bound. <laughs> um, <laughs> as the United States... Oh, wait, 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 wait. How many times have you tried to pick up a girl by saying take a chance on me? Oh! I am 22 years old, and I fucking hate that. <laughs> All 22 years of my life, never once used it. Have you, have you seen Hard Target? So you don't like getting laid, though. Are you, yeah, I was going to say, are you, are you married, or are you ready to try it out? Um, I got a serious girlfriend that is hey, right there. Serious girlfriend. You took a chance! You took a chance! Love of my life. Chance! 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 <laughs> <laughs> As a United States service member, there's two things that inspire me. Oh! Oh! I apologize if I get emotional. USA! 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 The first and foremost is my beautiful girlfriend, Jennifer, who is sitting right there. Woo! Yeah. She's getting this all on video. It's perfect. Yeah. It's a perfect moment. The second wait, of which... Wait, wait, she's getting it from a bad angle. Come over here. Get up and come over here. No, get up and come over here. <laughs> You're getting his ass. That's an even worse angle. No, that's... <laughs> Why don't you go outside and shoot it? No, stand in the center lane here. Stand in the center lane. Is she deaf? Oh, my God, I felt so rude. <laughs> There you go, perfect. Better. This is much better. Nah, yeah, she's had a lot of drinks. Good job. She's hot. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you did good. <laughs> like all of you, you I shot out of my league. Cash in your hand. <laughs> my wife knows who she married. <laughs> the second of which that I find um, inspiring is you guys. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that no matter what corner of the world I find myself in, I can always count on you guys and her to bring me home. Your podcast means the world to me, and all I ask is to shake your hand and please continue what you're doing. Thank you. You, yeah. Nick, Nick. Nick. Cheers, cheers, cheers.
so much for you guys to you. Thank you. Thank you, man. So do you have an awesome name we're chanting to? I don't have anything as deep or meaningful to follow up <laughs> after that. Wait, 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 so, wait, 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 wait. Before, you go, before you say anything, it kind of looks like Sean Pitts' brother. He's right? pretty hot, so I'm Sean okay with that. <laughs> right? It looks like your brother a little bit. Yeah? Okay, I just want yeah, to point sure, that Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever you say. Thank you for that endorsement. Anything for the gods that you guys are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I had no deity up on this stage. The holy trinity of uh, fat. <laughs> I want a t-shirt, no, no, by the way. Trinity, that needs Trinity to be a mode. thing. Okay. <laughs> you guys are low on time. Here's a so shirt. I'll keep it straightforward. Since Troy's around somewhere, maybe. Um, what is your favorite Troy Baker game? Mine Ooh. was uh, Second Son. I waited in line to pick it up. I, beat, I did my first playthrough in like 12 hours. And then I beat it uh, the second game and platinumed it within another... Uh, like 10 or something like that. Did someone say Final Fantasy 13? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We got I a think, snow fan in the house. <laughs> it's Beardless Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Beardless Marty loves Final Fantasy 13. Isn't the answer obvious? It's The Last of Us. It has to be The Last of Us. <laughs> I would say that, and I don't mean to brag, but I've already beaten Uncharted 4. And so, no, I'm fucking around, I'm fucking around. <laughs> yeah, Last of Us probably best overall, but I mean, I still think he, I, Arkham Origins doesn't get enough credit, and neither does the fact that his Joker is so good. His Joker is so good. And if you, if you don't like the game, watch Assault on Arkham. Another level. Oh! I totally fucked up, though. That's not my answer. Persona 4 Kanji. <laughs> Get bent. <laughs> Where the fuck is Troy Baker? <laughs> Marty, Marty, come on up here, please. For God's sake. Marty. I got a gooch. Marty. Hi, Marty. I hear you're doing a pretty capable job with Podcast Beyond. Yeah. It's kind of, it, thank you all. It's kind of capable. Kind of capable. Uh, you're all fucking amazing. This thing is out of fucking control. <laughs> Seriously. Like, it fucking floored me. Uh, everyone in the audience, like, the four of you are fucking crushing it. And this is, this is amazing. Honestly, this is destroying me. Quit IGN? <laughs> Come on, Marty, all the cool kids so are doing. Okay, first off, all of you have visited San Francisco. You realize how expensive it is. Don't quit a job unless you have something else lined up. I'm not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, we fuck that up. Yeah, we fuck, we that fuck up. up. I fucking love you. Get I fucking love you. Look, look at birds on your shirt. Everything's weird. Yeah. Banjo-Kazooie. Fucking Banjo-Kazooie is right. The best Troy Baker game of all time, Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marty. Good to see you. Hey, real quick, shout out to Sean Finnegan. Where? There he is. Oh! Did he, wait, did he hike all the way up there? That motherfucker likes hiking! Did he hike up there? <laughs> Sean wants us all to do the gator chomp! <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're at a Sharks game. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I, think, huh? I think this is the last question, oh, we're doing unfortunately. Like a Roman, a Roman this is the last shot. question. Yes, I think we gotta wrap no this up. No pressure. Up. I'm sorry, everyone else online. It's perfect, because he's a Destiny fan like me. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. And people say no one plays that game anymore. What? All right, I have a two-part question. I'm going to ask the easy part first. Colin, I'm a bourbon drinker. I've never had Eagle Rare. Would you mind filling my glass? You're 21 or older, obviously. Yeah. I'm sorry? Check the IDs. In the yeah, door. oh, yeah, it's a 21 and older state. Okay, come on. You got to move Not back. on the Vita, not on the Vita. Is that good enough for you? Brilliant. Give it a taste. Let me know what you think. What, let me know about what you think about the notes. Righto! Whoa, 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 don't, don't fall off the stage. I'm, That's what I get no to <laughs> it's, it's more citrusy than I would expect. Uh, I get nice floral notes to it. Really rounds out the palate, not too much of a bite. I'm enjoying it. Good, I'm glad. Thank you, Very Tom. good. And this comes, by the way, from uh, the private collection of uh, Polite Provisions in San Diego, if you've ever been there. <laughs> 
Something nice, short, and to the point to finish off here. One off the wall, balls to the wall, E3 prediction. The Last Guardian. Last Guardian. I'm not done yet. The Last Guardian, PlayStation 4, this October. This October? This October. I feel it in my balls. That's balls. <laughs> Colin was right. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a dream right here. Pokemon MMO on a console. On a console? Yeah. This gen or last gen? Sorry, what? This gen or last gen? Oh, this gen, what the hell? Next, oh. NX, bro, next PS3, fucking gen. PS3, come on. Throw them up! <laughs> All 10 of you that own the Wii U, throw up the NX. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna say y'all heard it here first. Last Guardian, PS4, October. Colin Moore, you already called yeah. it. Yeah. Colin was right. Thank you. Colin and was right. And Fallout 4 this fall as well. By the way, re real quick, are, do you have, did you have one more question? No, that, that is it. The I, I, wanna, I, I wanna take a moment, if you don't mind, because we talked about Eric Castro, right? Yeah. yeah. Eric, you're up there somewhere, right? Eric, where are you? No, no. No, did he leave? No, I texted Troy and I'm like, did you leave? And he's like, no, I want to get food for you guys. Eric Castro knows a legit hamburger ah! place. <laughs> oh, that's the place we probably passed yesterday in the Uber. I bet you that's the place. Sure. The little, the little hole in the wall. The one that you were like, I bet they have good burgers. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. But it said that uh, Anthony Bourdain went there and said it was one of the three best cheeseburgers of all time. It's true. <laughs> you're, you're right there. It's surprisingly, it is the penthouse buffet. So go across the street to the Paris. Eric Castro so fucked up because he had his money. Or you can and buy food it. here. Because we're never yeah, going to buy food here. I'm joking around. Nobody go to the penthouse thing. Buy food hungry, here. Buy food if here, you buy food or drinks here, you help us. By the yes. way, we have we don't, uh, we don't a, have to pay a, the tab. I, I, let me hold my hand for a minute. We have a, a 21 and older audience here today. Did, did you, you grab that fucking hand? Did you guys like follow the leader? Yeah! Good, good, good. I, I'm going to keep shouting motherfuckers out. Shout out to Eric Hart. Hey, All right, ladies and gentlemen. I see him. There he is. Smoking hot wife. Woo! Smoking hot wife. Your wife chance. is here. She knows what she got in I'm bed most with. disappointed that Eric Castro missed his moment in the spotlight. He's never going to Everyone knows again. Eric Castro. It's not like this is ending. We still have a whole half no, a it's fucking over. night to go. It's been a fun night. All right, Thanks, guys. Out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, please drink here. <laughs> please help us with our bar tab. Always feel free to get up and get a drink or some food in the back. What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show live at Kind of Funny Live. If you didn't know, each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can go to patreon.com, throw us a few bucks, get it early each and every Friday, or you can wait till we post it topic by topic, day by day, over on youtube.com slash kindoffunny, leading up to us posting the entire show. MP3s, video files, each and every Friday. Uh, as I said, your night is not over by a long shot. We're taking our next intermission before our next mind-blowing thing. We haven't told anybody what it no is, No one right? knows about this. I know. And let me tell you, you have no fucking idea what you're in for. So until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.